Hello everyone, happy happy Tuesday. Um, I'm off today, yay. Well, I should say tonight, right? Um, and it's a really nice day here in Massachusetts. Um, but I was here having a little devotion and that's just um, uh, another word of saying, spending time with God in prayer and reading of the word. And I read something I just thought it was really it inspired me so I felt like it would be good to share it with someone now again this may not be for everyone um, who will come across this video but I know if it's, it's for someone and as long as one person takes something from this I'm good I feel happy that I shared it um, it's in Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24 and 25 and God said to the children of Israel rise Take your journey and cross over the river of Aaron. Look, I have given into your hand Sihon, the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and engage him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the nations under the whole heavens who shall hear the report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. And pretty much what I took from that, what I took away from that, um, um, is one, it, it was really two things. Um, one is the power of fear, right? Um, on one end, you see that, um, God said that he's going to put fear in the hearts of the nations that is going to hear of the, of the acts and all that the children of Israel is going to do, is going to do in order for, for them to possess the land that he's like, Hey, look, I've given you this land. You could go ahead and possess it. And by the way, you're going to have to actually put in work, but it's yours. Don't worry. Your work is not going to be in vain. You, you just have to trust me, go and possess it. Don't worry. You're going to be victorious. You're going to find some difficulties. Don't worry about it. I told you it's yours. Put in the work. Your work is not in vain. And so, um, but the fact that um, God said that he was going to put fear in the hearts of those that would hear of what um, the children of Israel was saying. And, and the tactic behind that is that what is fear? Fear cripples, right? Fear, we all know that fear, when you are fearful, um, I have some notes, so you'll see me looking down a little. Fear cripples, when you look at Exodus 15, verse um, 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 16, it, it's, it talks about how when, when especially when um, God put the f fear in the hearts of man um, and allowed um, f the spirit of fear to enter into those who that he would have um, um, for whatever reason to serve whatever purpose um, um, be open to that right and so again once fear is entered into your life it cripples you um exodus um 15 verse 16 it it goes to say show how fear um if you want me to quickly read it 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 shows how fear it, um God goes to say in Exodus um, 15 verse 16 how the because of the fear that that um, the nations will have it will cause them to stand still and that's what fear does it causes it cripples you where it stops you from your purpose it stops you from moving forward it stopped you from being confident to know that okay you know what um I, I can fight against whatever is coming at me but when you're afraid when you're afraid it causes you to stay still it's to, um and 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 when you even when you scientifically when you think of your your brain the, the makeup of your brain the fight and flight um syndrome right where you know when you're confronted with something that um, um threatens you in whatever shape or form you either stop or you fight and so and p one of the things that happens um with fear is that you you can stop and once once you stop you you become paralyzed and you become paralyzed and that's what causes whatever that's coming against you to defeat you so that was one of the tactics that god 
said to the people of Israel that he would use against um, his um, their enemies. But that is one of the reasons why God was telling the people of Israel because that is what the spirit of fear does. That is the reason why God was telling the people of Israel, you do not be fearful. You do not allow the spirit of fear to come into you because that which I, I will cause it to have that effect on your enemies, if you allow it to enter into you, that is what's going to happen to you. You're going to be paralyzed. You're going to come into a point where, you, although I'm telling you, this is what I give unto you, you're not, you're now going to be afraid. You're going to be, you're going to stand still, right? And have confusion. That's another thing that fear brings. Um, when you're afraid and you, and, 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 and you allow the spirit of fear to enter you, you, it causes a lot of confusion, right? Um, Self-doubt. Um, you can read um, Exodus 23, verse 22, where um, God says that the fear that is going to be upon these nations are going to cause confusion. And when you're afraid, you can't think right. Right, because your 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 the your information process has not reached your neural that neural that um neural part of your brain, right? That 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 causes your your mind to rationalize, to critically think. Um, it just pretty much stop right there where it causes um it causes you to to to, to act without thinking and that's what um that flight or, or or fight syndrome tells you it your body receives like you re your brain receives the information and your brain it it just sends because it it receive it as a threat it doesn't send it to become to go get processed and 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 critically think it just sent it right into your your emotion center of your brain where now you're just acting without thinking and when you act without thinking okay um that causes a lot of problem that causes you to make a lot of mistakes okay and so that is the tactic because fear the spirit of fear that's what it does it cripples you it causes you to be confused it causes you to act without without rationalizing without really um critically thinking and so that is the reason why God told the people of Israel, don't be afraid because the same thing is going to do to your enemies that's going to allow you to now conquer them is the same thing it will do to you if you allow it. And I want you not to be afraid because I'm telling you I'm with you. I'm telling you, arise. God said to the, to the people of Israel, arise, take your journey, take your journey and and cross over and so it goes for us too right like most of the time god is telling us look get up get up take this journey that is called life that is yours you know go go after it i i'm i'm telling you i have all these things prepared for you 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 have a purpose you have goals and i'm letting you know as long as they're within my will for your life i'm with you i've i've already made provision for you all you have to do is trust me do not allow fear god said in his word that he has not given us a spirit of fear because fear is a spirit it comes comes into you to do something just like um there are things that like when you you feel you feel joy right you feel joy you you're you're laughing you feel all this you know um um, um happy thoughts and you know and fear is a spirit it enters you and it has its side effects it comes with its characteristics right the characteristic of of causing confusion doubt low self-esteem that is the characteristics of fear and so once you start noticing those things you have to say mm -mm, there's a spirit here that is not of god because God said, hey, that's not what I'm here in your life to do. I'm not in your life to confuse you. I'm not in your life to make you feel like you can't achieve. In fact, I'm letting you know you can do anything and everything as long as you trust me. As long as I'm with you, don't worry about it. I got your back. And so at the end of the day, that's what I took from that. Um, because really and truly, the people of Israel, God told them he had this land prepared for them. And they had a hefty battle in front of them but along the way the way god gave them 
some um some instructions that were key and one of those instructions over and over was not to be afraid not to be afraid do not be afraid what are you scared of half of the time we're afraid of um of of what people gonna going to say or you know we're afraid of of you know um backlash or we're afraid of of um failure and you know what Failure is not always a bad thing. You know, you you have to fail in order to succeed. You have to know what didn't work in order for you to know what works. So in in retrospect, in retrospect, I would I would say that and encourage you to tonight as I'm encouraged to be honest with you is that once God tell you to get up, arise, take your journey, your journey of life, your journey Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is different, right? But what gives us a common a common thread is the fact that God, if you put your trust in the Lord, if you put your trust in God, I'm telling you, it makes your journey so much more worth it. It relieves so much stress off of you. It gives you such a confidence in knowing of having that assurance and knowing there is nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, part of our um, basic need is security. Security is one of human beings' basic needs. And if a person is, does not feel secure, they won't even eat. Security is one of our basic needs. And you know what? Once you feel secure and, and you know without a shadow of a doubt, that you have someone to have your back, you're not going to be afraid to do your journey. And that's why God says over and over to us, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take your journey. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid because you're not going to succeed all the time. You're not going to be successful at everything all the time. You're going to have some failures that's going to lead you to that success. You're going to have, you know, um, these um um moments where you feel like you're alone so when you when you, so you tell the difference when you're not alone right and so at the end of the day really and truly if god tells you arise take your journey go ahead cross over cross over to your purpose get up get up don't let fear cripple you don't let fear cripple you. Fear is what God will allow your enemies will to feel so you can cross over, so you can make it. Don't fall into that trap. Don't fall into it. Don't get confused. Don't be afraid. And don't worry about people. I, I've come to find out people will talk whether good, bad, they'll talk. Let them talk. You enjoy your journey. You arise. Get up. Get up and do your thing as long as God is with you. Now, if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you don't have that assurance. You don't have that assurance, right? Because you have to know your commander. You have to know a person to trust a person. And if you don't know Jesus, how do you know you could trust him? You got to read his word, understand how he functions. Then you'll be able to say, okay, if Jesus says he got my back, he got my back. And the only way for you to come to know him is to receive him in your life as your Lord and Savior. Now, if you do not have Jesus, and do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to say the sinner's prayer with me. It is very simple. It is simply, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. I receive the free gift of salvation. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you'd resurrected, that I may have life today. I thank you. I confess I've sinned, but I thank you that I receive you into my life as my Lord and Savior. And today I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen.
And if you've said that simple prayer, it's simple, but it's beautiful. And if you've said that simple prayer, believe me, the Lord has entered your life. No spirit, good or bad, can come and enter your life and have any effect on you unless you uh, open up the door for it. And if you've opened the door to Jesus today by saying that simple prayer, you best believe he's with you. And you best believe now he got your back and he's going to lead you. Go to a Bible believing church. And if you're in a state that has not opened up completely, find a Bible believing church online. You have the Faith Center that's pastored by Henry Fernandez. This is not, um, this is a disclaimer. This is not um, um, something that um, as advertisement for um, the church, um, but that is a church that I've, I attend and I do believe that they stand on the word of God. You also have a church in Miami. Um, it's called the New Alpha um, Worship Center. Look it up. It's pastored by um, Pastor Earl Williams. There is a, ch um, a, a church that's pastored by, um, oh gosh, it's the um, Times Ministry. Um, Times Ministry um, is, is pastored by a prophetess Suzette Walters. Um, you can look up these people online. Um, I know them to be Bible-believing churches, um, leaders, and, and you can be very, um, you can start your journey with them. If not these three that I've mentioned, look up Bible-believing churches online. See if, they, if they're teaching what is in the Word of God. And if it's in the Word of God, you can stand on it, you can bank on it, and you can trust that it will will work for you do not be afraid do not be afraid okay leave that for your enemies okay so i i hope that you got something out of this again it's not for everyone but i know it's for someone and if one person got something from this i'm happy may god bless you thank you for taking the time and listening